Next up, we'll try Hulu Desktop, and we'll just—I got it down here on the taskbar. Now, this does have to buffer. There is a little lag with the Hulu Desktop uh, until it does. The buffer does get full. See, I was already watching this earlier. See, once it catches up, then it works pretty good. Blow it up. See, the buffer's almost full. You'll see how Flash is offloading properly because the CPU usage is anywhere between um, 15 to mid 20s. Once it settles down, they'll usually hover under 20%. With Hulu Desktop, if uh, if I did not have Flash 10.1 installed, it would be pegging the CPU at nearly 90%, and it would be stuttering. There's full screen. See, there's no lag, no stutter, no hiccups. Of course, different videos from Hulu have different qualities, even at 720p. This is not obviously an HD stream, so it is a little bit uh, grainy. And some are better than others. Watch one more on Hulu Desktop just so you can see what it does when you actually do change between videos. The following program is brought to you with limited commercial interruption by Walt Disney World. Commercials are shot at a much lower resolution, so the commercials look terrible and they do skip a lot. There's never been a better time to step into the magic. Because right now you get three more nights free when you buy a four night package at select Walt Disney World Resort hotels. And that's something worth celebrating. Book through December 20th at 407 W Disney. You're watching Fox News. Continuous coverage of the 2009 election. End of an era. And now, Greta Van Susteren. Good evening. I'm Greta Van Susteren. Oh, it's As you can see, there's very little, there isn't any stutter, lag, anything. And it's not even fully buffered yet. Yeah, on Tuesday, it seems that era came to a defense event. Well, discuss. But first, Shepard Smith to recap Tuesday's historic presents in Virginia. Not bad, considering what it would have been without beta uh, Flash 10.1. Let's go and watch uh, Hulu via IE. Standard Hulu playback in IE is the, pretty much the same as it is in Hulu Desktop. Hulu Desktop can run a little bit smoother or have a little less lag between um, between videos choices. Let's just go right to the Hulu HD. Uh, we'll try Legends of the Seeker. It's got some good fast moving paces at the beginning here. I'll try to start it at the beginning here. As you can see, it's through Internet Explorer, the CPU usage is about 18 to 25 percent. This is in an HD format directly from Hulu, streaming over a 7.5 megabit internet connection cable.
So if you've got a full buffer, even with some good HD content on Hulu, you shouldn't get any lag or skips in the video if it's, if it's flash based. Of course, it's only as good as what's being fed to you. Go back to standard Hulu real quick. We'll just pick the first one that comes up. Hulu can run a little slow. It, it seems to be their site is normally like that. The following program is brought to you with limited commercial interruption by Walt Disney World. Again, you can see uh, CPU usage is in the teens, may spike in the 20s or something, but for the most part, CPU usage is pretty low. So you can watch a video and surf the net at the same time and really have no trouble. Go to full screen real quick. Uh, you can see it's not buffered, but only a third of the way. So full screen, the flash quality is pretty good. Um, there's a little graininess to it. Uh, again, some shows are better than others. Depends on the encryption of the video when it was made into flash. What's going on? Uh, the Bureau's missing an agent. Okay, this 